As tensions over Finland and Sweden's NATO membership bid simmer, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan held talks with Sweden and Finland where he detailed his concerns. Despite support from all other NATO nations, the Sweden-Finland membership bid has been facing a major roadblock from Turkey. To reach to a conclusion, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan dialed the leaders of both countries to put forward Ankara's concerns over Kurdish groups. Bakın, öğleden itibaren görüşmeler yaptım. İsveç Başbakanıyla görüştüm. Finlandiya Cumhurbaşkanıyla görüştüm. Ardından NATO Genel Sekreteriyle görüştüm. Dün İngiltere Başbakanıyla görüştüm. Hepsiyle tabii görüştüğümüz konular malum. Rusya, Ukrayna Savaşı, ikili ilişkilerimiz vesaire. During his call with Sweden's Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson, Erdogan said that Ankara expects Stockholm to take concrete steps to address its concerns. He also asked her to lift the embargo imposed on arms exports on the country. Appreciating the call, Anderson said that Sweden is hoping to strengthen bilateral relations with Turkey. In another call to Finnish President Sauli Linista, the Turkey president or the Turkish president said that failing to deal with terrorist organizations that posed a threat to a NATO ally would not suit the spirit of alliance. The development comes after Ankara opposed the latest NATO membership bid, demanding to end the support for a Kurdish group that it considers a terrorist organization. Ankara says Sweden and Finland harbor people linked to the Kurdistan Workers' Party and followers of Fedula Galen whom Turkey accuses of orchestrating a coup attempt in 2016. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has prompted Sweden and Finland to veer away from decades-old policy of neutrality. Moscow has warned against the NATO expansion. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Sweden and Finland's joining NATO was not a threat by itself, though the deployment of military infrastructure on their territory would provoke a response. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.